Hey guys, so today we're doing back test with me. You can back test with me live, and we're going to be back testing GJ in January of 2023. We're going to be going through supply and demand, and there are a few that I'm actually going to follow. I'm not trading Wednesdays, and I'm only trading from 12 p.m. to 3:30. All right, so it's currently 12 p.m., and we can actually see nothing so far. So okay, so from this we can see that the low has been broken because I'm doing this live. Well live with you guys i'm going to try not to make any mistakes try to make it as precise and as accurate as i would do it if i was also trading live you can see a nice break of structure present right here as well so we're just gonna wait for it to go back in to tap that zone and now it has there are a few rules that i'm actually following as well gap must be present we can see that there's a gap right here we also need break of structure to be present we can see that there's a break of structure right here and we're waiting for a break of candle so this is the break of candle that is necessary before i enter this trade and we're looking for one to one i look for one to ones that is my take profit so i'll have my stop loss set i'll have my take profit set so now let's see if this is going to go our way yep and we hit take profit in a few minutes and that is pretty much good to go so it's currently about one o'clock would i be looking for another trade possibly possibly if we find another setup if not then i'll probably be done for the day just going to tally this so that was january how this is going to work is that i'm going to have my wins i'm going to have my losses you know five wins we're just going to have five one loss when i've lost then at the end we're going to have the total you know win percentage so depending on how long this video is i'm not too sure how long i'm going to back test for usually i back test for about a month you know trying to complete the month in one sitting but this could be long so you know we'll see how long we go for this is day number two you know now it's the third of jan it's currently 12 p.m on the dot I can't really see much at the moment. Now this is a potential setup, but there's a gap below, so I'm not too sure if I really wanna if I really wanna take it this high. Um, ideally, I prefer if it comes back down here to fill this gap first. That's when I'll be a lot more confident. But we can see. So if I did take this, this would have won anyway. But of course, I didn't take it, so we missed a trade there. If it does come back though, which I don't think it is, yeah, the trade is pretty much left. Okay, now this is another setup at two fifty. Uh, was there a gap yet yeah, there was a gap here that was filled okay yeah i figured this will probably happen so right here we can see that the trade became invalid so the trade is invalid once the candle breaks the zone yeah it's already too late it's already 4 15 so i'm pretty much done trading there is a zone here that could possibly win but it's already 4 15 so i won't be trading at all at this time so i don't trade past 3 30 because the volume just gets rubbish everything gets messy the charts start to correct itself because here there is you know everything would have followed i would have entered right here we got a break of candle but immediately it started reversing just because you know past that time things don't really play out how you want them to so it's currently 12 p.m on a first day we can see currently that the uh, we have lower lows being formed at the moment we'll see if this high gets broken so it broke the high okay so right now I'm looking for buyers. I'm pretty much looking for buyers because we see one break of structure here. We see another break of structure here. If this does come back into the zone, then I would be looking to enter. Oof. So this was definitely news that happened at that time. Uh, this is probably still news because this this volume is crazy. We'll just see if it breaks. Yeah, so it broke the zone anyway. So there's nothing to look for there. So this is going to be, I don't think, I think this is going to be a no trade trade in there. I can just tell. Yeah. So it's okay to have days when you don't trade just because it will happen, especially the fact that Bear Man will just trade in gj if we don't see a setup on gj then i'll end up looking for something else or maybe ge or ej which is something i'm kind of back testing at the moment to see if it's another pair that will actually start using but you know i mostly just trade gj gu ej and au as well as nas so usually i'll find a setup on one of these at least one of these days but if I don't trade, then it's also okay. Sometimes just don't force a trade because trust me, that's how you're going to lose money. Right. So now it's Friday and we are looking for the trade for the week. Now, this is going to be NFP. I don't also trade NFP. So, so far, we're still one to one. And so far, we haven't actually made any more money. But that's just because, hey, from back to said, I just know you want to avoid these days. There's just no profit in usually risking it because NFP don't usually follow how regular days would. It's just a messy day. So usually I don't trade NFP as well it's just there's just no point and you know based on this we can just see exactly why like there's, there will, probably wouldn't be a setup at all yeah it's just it's just a bunch of news and high volatile setups so yeah there was no trade on friday anyway even if i wanted to really trade on that day first week is done i don't like the first week so now we're going to look for the second week from the second week onwards things start to follow their normal patterns hopefully we'll find a bit more setups that's currently monday 
the 9th of Jan and we're trying to find another setup. Currently it's looking bullish. So we're looking for buyers in the meantime. We can see that the low has not okay, the low has not been broken. If we get another low being broken, then we might start looking for sales. Okay, so that's two. So now we're seeing that the market is starting to sort of correct itself now. There's a small gap right here. So if it does retrace, then we'll be looking for sales, which it did. It tapped in. So now we're looking for a break of candle. By the way, if you guys actually back this one with me, be sure to let me know down in the comment, you know, what trades you did take on what days, because there might be days that I've avoided and you decided to trade those days and you made money, maybe I missed them, or you lost money, then you can let me know. Then maybe we can, I can sort of go back to see exactly what you guys did. Just let me know like the date and the time or whatever it was. So I'll look at the setup that you guys found. Are we going to get a break of candle? Not yet. So I'm just going to move my entry slightly higher just because now we're still trying to find that break of candle. Uh, So we haven't found any yet. It still hasn't tapped in. We're still trying to find that break of candle. The trade isn't invalid yet. Still moving up. So I don't think we will find a trade here. I think this might become invalid, but we will see. Oof. I don't really like the way this is moving. It's sort of just chilling inside the zone at the moment. Of course, we're still trying to look for our one-on-one. -on -one. So... Here is where it's going to be. Do I like this at all though? For using the EMA, you can see that oh, the EMA is still bullish. The overall trend is still bullish. So this is a bit of a risky trade to be fair with you. Quite risky this one. This is against the trend. So I'll probably put a smaller lot size on this, on something like this. But we'll risk it anyway. And yeah, look, supply and demand is true. Hey, just, <laughs> it just follows, it's just straightforward telling you this this setup again here are the rules i've niched down this rule so much to where that this is the highest peak of a trade being successful as long as they follow the rule a gap has to present so this is one that i added recently that gap must be present because when there isn't a gap that's when i realized that some trades might win some might not but usually when there's a gap present there's even a higher percentage so as traders you want to maximize the chance of you winning a trade especially if for example this is against the trend you know Everything is sort of against you. I mean, we can see lower lows being formed now, but still, the general, you know, upper time frame is going to be bullish. The 15 minutes bullish, the one hour is going to be bullish, but this is still a trade that we took that is against, you know, the trend. But we still got a one to one. In fact, we could have got, you know, a one to two pretty, pretty easily just from this candle alone. But now we know that we are two for two on a month so far. And. Yeah, I mean, after that reversed, where well, goodness me. This law has been broken, so maybe the market is actually going to be selling. But for now, we're still looking for buyers. Oh, this is this a sell? There's a gap here. What time is it? Oh, it's 11.55, so this is 12. Okay. And that's currently 12 o'clock. EMA is currently... So this is a 200 EMA that I'm using, just to kind of show what the upper time frame is, is saying, basically, to see what that's about. Uh, didn't actually break the high. Yeah, I'll just try to find another setup. Just because this might win, but I'm not too confident. Yeah, I just don't have that confidence. I mean, it became invalid anyway. I was just consolidating. Yeah, looking a bit trashy. Yeah, there wasn't a setup today. So it's going to be Wednesday. And you guys know we're not trading Wednesdays. Whilst we wait until Thursday, the reason I don't trade Wednesdays is because Wednesdays pretty much act almost like NFP and just the rest of the news days. Just because on Wednesdays, like the midweek, there's a lot of volatility at that time. Volatility is good. You know, you can make your money quick and all that. But when there's too much, the market don't act as it should. You know, things start to give you fake entries and things are reversing on you. It's just a whole mess. So you kind of, I generally just avoid Wednesdays because of that reason. Yeah, you might win a trade here and there, but you're going to lose as well just because Wednesdays sometimes follow, sometimes it doesn't. So I just avoid it for now. For now, anyway, I'm avoiding Wednesdays. I'll probably backtest again later down the line just to see again if I should give it a chance. So now it's Thursday, the 12th of Jan. if this actually comes back down here then yes we'll have a setup but i think this is already too far gone this is a very very risky trade here it broke the law yes there's a ton of gap at the top yes i don't know i don't like this i don't really like when it breaks and it just immediately you know goes back to tap in because sometimes it might start correcting so it's also late in the day it's 3 15 this could now start going upwards to just you know fill all these gaps that are at the top do i like it this is the zone as well it's quite a, it's a bit of a messy one isn't it let me see. It depend depend on what happens next. So it hasn't actually become a valid yet. Is this something I want to take? Uh, I don't know. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. 
I don't like it at all. This is the one on one, so it doesn't have to travel that far to really make us this bank. To be fair, when I don't like trees, I'll just avoid it. But I don't want to end up missing so many. I'll just trust my, I'll trust the setup. I'll trust the strat, right? Let's see what this does. Hey, what can I say? So we didn't lose. Uh, the entry would have actually been up here. We would have been looking for the one on one. One to one to be down here. So it would have been out of this trade super, super quick. But yeah, this was one that, this is so far, this was a trade that I had the least confidence in. But again, it still worked. Just because for us to even get our take profit initially, we would have had to break the low. But because we had a better entry right at the top, it was even better, basically. You know, as soon as this candle formed right here, we didn't have an entry yet. As soon as this candle formed, oh, I missed something. So to be real, here's what would have happened. Because I missed this. So right now, I would have moved my entry. So after we didn't get a break of candle here. So there was one formed right here. So I would have moved my entry to be right here. Would have been entered on this trade right here. Stop load have been right above this candle right here and would have been looking for that one on one. So would have been entered into this trade from here. It would have gone up, almost stopped us out, literally by like one pip. By some chance, of course, depending on spread and all of that stuff, this could have stopped you out. Even if you get stopped out here, what would have happened is would have then re-entered again and would have won anyway, would have made our money back. So it'll still be a win in trade just because the trade didn't become invalid. But either way, this is a win. Either you entered here, either all you entered here, whatever the case is, we're still getting, you know, more than that one-on-one -on -one regardless. Currently Friday, we are going to see if we can find another setup. So here, there's a bit of gap here. So if this does come back here, we will take this trade. So we do have one here. If it does break, again, we're looking for the break of candle, just as usual. Now, this is a lot of pips though. So I don't, I'm not sure if this is news because this is 36 pips. Usually it, it shouldn't be that high. So this candle is, is bigger than you think, basically. We're looking for that one-on-one, -on -one, of course. I think we're going to have a better entry though, for sure. Yes, we are. Yeah, I figured there's no way that was going to break because that would have been absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so that's another one that pretty much won immediate. Now, this is the reason I take one-on-one, -on -one. just in and out quickly. Personally, I just prefer to be in and out of the trade quickly because sometimes you get the one-on-one, -on -one, then it will just reverse and you. This kept going anyway. Like, this was a crazy trade absolutely crazy goodness me this was a what one to three so if you really want to stay in this you could have taken like a one to five whatever the case is but this was a crazy trade crazy 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 trade so so far we're pretty much four and four in the first two weeks and yeah things have been smooth now I'll click on this video to see the previous backtest with me on one entry and one time frame 